All right, everybody, welcome back to the World Championships. This is the top 16, 75 minutes on that clock here for the Gold Squadron podcast. I'm Asa. And I'm Darren. Welcome back, Darren. I don't know if we can top that last game, but these two players are going to try. Absolutely. So on the left-hand side, we have the list that beat Heaver. Pierre Bouffier on the stream just a couple rounds ago. John Ors, Jan Ors, <laughs> Wedge Antilles, Cassian Andor, and a Bandit Squadron pilot. Very interesting little Rebel Salad right over there. Absolutely. One of the few Rebel lists to make the cut. Yep, yep, and, and, and it's, a, it's an unusual... Uh, Rebel list that we've got there. So there right now we have V. Marathi, and we'll talk about him in just one second. V. Marathi assigning the compromising intel condition to Jan Oris. Compromising intel, what that says, if he is a super, super intelligence agent, yep. basically. And if, as most politicians will tell you, they don't like any compromising intelligence. Absolutely. No compromising intelligence. It also means that Jan Oris cannot spend any of those focus tokens from the, from the Moldy Claro when attacking V. Marathi. Absolutely. It also means that the uh, dial has to be turned up, I believe. Exactly, in the system phase, with Vimarati's at range 0 to 3. Now, let's take a look at Kalen Wong's list. Uh, this was kept under wraps for a really long time. I think talked to Ryan Farmer about that. Yep. Uh, Ryan Farmer saying, like, <laughs> having some inclinations that it was going to wreck stuff at Worlds, quote-unquote, somebody. And that if somebody is Kalen Wong. We've got three A-Wings, two resistance transport pods, Green Squadron Expert, Zari Bangel, Greer Sonnel, Vi Marathi, and Finn. Now, when we look at that side of the board, we only have four ships on it, right? Uh, so, yes, there are only four ships there. And that's because of the GA-97 <coughs> upgrade. And GA-97 has a uh, great little trick. And I believe this is probably the first time we'll have ever seen it on stream. Right. Uh, no, Kalen, I think, was on a different table a few uh, yesterday. Ah, okay. Um, but GA97 is incredible. Um, it's it's a, just a little trick that may catch Pierre out if he's not aware of it. But effectively, just down here in this corner, you're going to see Chargers regen at the end of each round. At the end of each round, when Chargers um, return, that's going to build up. When that gets to five Chargers. It's time for the Hero of the Resistance. And the Hero of the Resistance is Finn. Finn's going to be coming around. Uh, when he deploys, he can deploy at range one of any table edge beyond range three of an enemy ship. Now, Finn is kitted out to be, a, I mean, kind of a hammer right here. We've got Heroic, Perceptive Co-Pilot, Advanced Optics. What that means is, in combination with Finn's ability, there's something like a 97% chance of him getting three hits yep. when he rolls those dice. And that's why Finn is kind of a big deal. Finn is kind of a big deal. Just a little pod with a cruddy dial, but all he needs to do is get behind Pierre for just a turn or two. Yep, absolute uh, um, opportunity to either come in on a flank or come in from behind and just be a real pain in Pierre's. Right. Now, Kalen here saying the only times he's lost this World Tournament are to Marcel Manzano and I believe to Paul Heaver, both of whom are out of the tournament right now. Um, I don't believe it was Paul Heaver. I believe... It definitely wasn't Paul Heaver, it was somebody else. Right, but the other person was out of the Bohan tournament. Bohan Lee. Bohan Lee, yes. Both of whom are out of the tournament right now. Yes, so they are. Kalen has a, well, not unobstructed shot to the top, but both of these players have a climb. Pierre is here to stymie Kalen. So now we see, so, uh, I mean, we see some, see some movement. What do we got here? So a hard one there on the, uh, the A Wing, uh, and that is Greer Sonnell. So Greer's ability is that um, after uh, performing a move, uh, he can perform a free rotate. Now, that's not a rotate action. It's a free right. rotate. Now, if you want to rotate your mobile arcs, you can get some mobile arc indicators from Curled Pot Creatives, our sponsor for this stream. Look down there in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Use the code WORLDS2019 from Curled Pot Creatives' site to get yourself 15% off of your order. There's no minimum on that. And if you are in the continental US, any order over $35 gets you free shipping. Isn't that right, Darren? Absolutely, Asa. And that coach valid till Monday. Till Monday, absolutely right. 70 minutes, only five minutes in here. We've gotten through the first round. One charge coming back on GA97. That's turn two of five. There are all the rest of them going out here so we can see what's going on. Now that five turn that that five turn indicator is is a gamble for Kalen, right? He has because he had to choose how many turns he was going to wait before the game started, before any forces are placed down. Yeah, absolutely, and it's before the. Yeah, you're right, Acer. It's before the forces are placed. So what that means is he doesn't know what ships are going to be where. Um, 
And it's going to be interesting to see exactly where he brings Finn in at the right time. Uh, now, right. When, when this card first came out, people were talking about Poe, because Poe's got a great ability in that he can come on, self-sufficient ace, right. maybe load him with some torpedoes. He can come on, take a target lock, take a focus, fire off some proton torpedoes. We're not going to get that big of a hit with, uh, with it just being Finn, but Finn is a fraction of the price compared to uh, a big hitter like Poe. And that was the problem with Poe, is that you have that five turns of your biggest gun is off the board, yep. right? So Poe really had to do some sort of work when he comes back in. Um, he, just, he just oftentimes could not, oftentimes leaving his list, leaving his friends out to dry. Finn, not too important for the rest of the list not to survive without him, but he is kind of a big deal. Absolutely. And he's going to be coming in turn five. We see dials going down for the second round over here. Yep. Now, it depends where Pierre's thinking of going because... This A wing's pretty exposed down here with the majority of the force up here. Interesting formation from Pierre, though. We have a, a line. Yep. Most of the time with this rebel stuff, we see a block. Yep, but I would, I would hazard a guess that this line's going to split up. And we're going to see ships going in every which direction. Yep, I think it's going to be fanned out a little bit more than uh, we would traditionally see. The bandit here is probably going to be playing the role of a blocker. Right. Now, let's not forget, with Jan's ability, that can be a three dice attack. Right. It can be a three die attack, which means every single one of these ships has three dice. Yep. Big heavy jousting list. Cassian Andor with Leia Organa keeping Wedge extraordinarily maneuverable, and J and Jan able to use her ability every single time. Yep. I mean, Leia's a force multiplier. We we, right. we see list after list that's got these force multipliers in it. The last round we had Jendon. This round right. we've got Leia. Do totally different things, but make the pieces that are in the list much, much better. Now, you mentioned something earlier. Greer Zonal is down there isolated at the bottom. Now, I think that's bait to bring him in for Finn. Possibly. Straight in and a focus for Vi Marathi. That little pod just coming in ready to cause some trouble. Yep, There's I mean, the it's important that, that that pod takes part in this game because the, the things that that pod does only really come into effect if it's close. Right. And that's on Jam, who's the furthest away from it is right now. And there comes that Ewing. Cassiander coming in, blocking itself into the Bandit Squadron pilot. Yeah, bit of a bump there. So not sure whether that's uh, intentional bumping there by Pierre, but it looked like he was trying to get it past. Right. Now, not not too bad. Turned it all the way around. That 45 degrees is still has still been achieved on the arc. Yep. Just a little bit further back from where he wanted to be. And to be honest, I quite like that move because it means he can hard two in next turn. Right. Zari Bangel up there with a straight maneuver boost on the top of the board. Bangel, Bangle, I, I have no idea. And green squadron expert number pink down on the right-hand flank. We see these A-wings separating, scattering up towards the top of the board there. We're going to look at a pincer maneuver coming in once again. Classic A-wing ace maneuver. Yeah, absolutely. So these A-wings have got some incredible time on target because they've got both the front and the back arc. And um, you can see one of the key upgrades here. It, it, it's heroic. For just one point, it, you can't get a better buy, really, in my opinion. Really? So there, there, there indeed. There's Grisonel. Uh, taking that one hard turn, we're going to barrel roll backwards towards the bottom edge of the board. And you're right, just just being bait. By being down here, um, next turn, Pierre has to think, is this ship going to come out fast, or is it just going to hard one, barrel roll back, and not really move anywhere? This And this stalling is, is, is A, it's perfectly legal, right. it's a very, very good tactic. Right, now, because Pierre has to make the choice there. Yep. It looks like he is pushing in hard. There's a force straight from Wedge Antilles. Yep. S foils closed, little tiny bump from Jan. What we did right there was move Wedge first because we knew that both Jan and Wedge were going to clear. Yep. Just getting that ship out of the way, making it a little bit easier to move yep. both of those. Totally fine. Both players agree to that. Yep. There's no repositioning taking place uh, on, uh, on Jan's point of view. Yep. Um, and so Wedge coming in here hot now. So what that's done is it has eliminated the chance yep. for uh, for Kalen to do that one hard barrel roll one more time. Wedge here not fully committed, right? That's yep. not far enough forward that we're going to see a committal from Wedge or an overextension. But what it does say is, hey, Greer, if you turn around, Wedge, if he dials into one straight or one bank right there, he can, if, if Greer goes up that way, we can recommit towards this side of the board. If he doesn't, we boost in, we take some shots, boosted by Jan. Yeah. 
So one of the things that we've got to watch out for at, at this moment for the next turn is what happens with this ship here and these two ships here. So, options. Wedge turns in this way, puts himself about here. If Kalen calls it, he can quite easily come in quick with some boosts, with some focus, get a couple of shots on him. If, however, Wedge goes this way and then boosts in quickly, um, he can then come in around behind these guys next turn. If, however, uh, Kalen thinks Pierre's going to be coming down this channel here, a hard one here with a barrel roll and a focus. Uh, sorry, you can't barrel roll focus because this is a resistance A-wing and right. a rebel A-wing. Um, so a hard one here with just a focus or a focus boost and then a three bank or a fast maneuver followed by a boost could catch Wedge down here. But... Uh and that's, well, that's why I think that the, the one bank here from Wedge is a very good maneuver because he's moving last, gives him the options to respond to where Greer goes, either coming in around this debris cloud to the left-hand side or boosting down towards the bottom edge. It is worth mentioning, by the way, it's now round three. We've just seen another recharge on GA-97 yep. coming one step closer to the resistance coming in. Absolutely. This is exciting. It's like a countdown. But the problem is, with Wedge coming all the way over here, it's limiting where Finn can deploy. Right. I don't know whether that's range three to the board edge or not. In fact, it is range three to the board edge because we know that they measured for two on. Right. So as soon as he's past that threshold, Finn can't come in within a huge area, which mm -hmm. will really limit where he can come on. And he may and find if, himself out. Of right, and if Jan banks in here, if he yep. makes a play for sort of this area of the board, Jan banks in here, Z95 and the Ewing cover this center area. Yep. All right, Z95, where is he going? There's the bank towards the bottom of the board, too. Just slight bump on the uh, the Ewing there, but... Question in chat from Dread, Dread Champion. Which way is Jan's turret arc facing? I think we're seeing that up towards the top right there. That's yep. the right way to put it. As soon as she turns in, we've got arc coverage on this line. Absolutely. So I don't think we're going to see this uh, Ewing turn in now. It's just a one bank. It's a non-committal turn, slight yep. turn just a little bit. And what that does, that leaves it open to either come quickly this way, right. turn in this way, or, you know, not care about the cloud. No damage, no actions, but the U-Wing is just fine with that. Or just stop. Right. <laughs> of course, he does have stop. There's a three bank in with Zari Bangel. Focus, any boost? Stop yep, there we go, linking it. I mean, these A-Wings have got such a good uh, dial when it comes to uh, blue maneuvers. Yep. Non-committal maneuver with a green squadron expert, right choice, right there. Again, we can't avoid or we can't uh, overextend, or else wedge with a turn with a two turn in. Yeah. If Pierre calls that, is a is a dead A wing right there. Four die attack. There's the turn from Greer. Yep, absolutely. And a game at this level, you've got to have uh, some uh, some. <laughs> Big, big uh, self-assured confidence there. Exactly. Right? <laughs> <If> you, <laughs> Just uh, like we saw from Marcel yep. last game. Here comes Jan Ors. Too hard turn down towards the bottom side. That's exactly what we're seeing, I think. So sealing off this range yep. three band. I mean, Covering it could, wedge. It could be very easy for, uh, for Pierre to uh, overextend himself with wedge. Wedge opening his wings. He's actually coming in too hard. Flanked by Greer Sonnel. A committing maneuver. But if you take a focus here, then... What have you got? You've got a range three shot from an A-wing. Right. Possibly obstructed uh, to this corner here. And there he goes, just taking the focus. 60 minutes left in the round. Now we can see some dice rolled. It looks that way, Asa. Here comes shooting Wedge Antilles. Firing first, going to measure range out to number pink and Vi Marathi. Who's your first target right there? I think the uh, the pod's probably the easy one to take off the board, but with um, Vi's uh, compromising intel, can he spend the focus against Vi? Uh, only Jan is restricted from that because that's where the condition is. Okay. Which is an interesting choice because obviously with the Moldy Crow title, that's a right. lot of focus tokens <laughs> sitting there. <laughs> All right, so we're coming in against the pod, range yeah. three. I think that's the right call. Those A-wings are hard to take down unless you have a kill box. Yeah. Uh, 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 range three? 
Jan Ors boosting that to a four die shot. Yep. Wedge looking for four symbols here. So he's warming up those dice. Exactly. Here we go. One oh. crit, two blank, one focus. Don't right. think you spend the focus no. there. He saves it. Vi has to spend his. No yep. damage through. But that's that's a, that's not a bad exchange. Right. That could have been terrible for Vi there. All right. Initiative four is range three through the debris cloud from Greer Sonnel. Yep. Now, because of uh, advanced optics and heroic, well, <laughs> doesn't who even needs need modifications? Him. <laughs> Hit and crit. Wedge is nice. absolutely fine. Uh, I don't think we're going to see anything. Chat saying dice were too hot for Pierre right there. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a question now of is this, if this, uh, calling for a right? judge to measure that. I was just trying to get the right call right there. They both have range and arc to each other. There we go. Judge over there just going ahead and calling the U-Wing while he's there. So here comes the U-Wing into Vi. And one hit. And clean. He evaded no damage into Vi Marathi. So do you think we see a change of target here with Vi? If, uh, if this A-Wing can manage to chip away some damage or maybe get to spend that focus, do we think we get? I, I think so. I still think I still think the U wing is a is a top target here. We're gonna go two hits in after spending the focus. U wing, plenty of evades though. Using crack shot. Damage is damage. Crack shot in there from Zari Bengal to take down one shield from Cassian Andor. He has also got crack shot on wedge right there. Yeah. I think if we see here. There we go, only one optics. optics. And there's the second crack shot. Using him early, but I think that's wise. Yep. Great bullseye setup from Wong right there. Fire into wedge. One hit. And clean. No crack shot from Vi. Nope. Uh, she doesn't even have bullseye. Right. No more. One more charge. We have one more right down there. So the beginning. So we got one more turn. Beginning of the next. Finn will deploy. Absolutely. So we see here a stress on Jan Ors. What that means is they're going to have to do a blue maneuver now. Can we? Not necessarily, because Cassian Andor at the beginning of the activation phase will remove that stress. That is from Jan Ors. Correct. The, the, the synergy here with this list is is incredible. So that means that Jan keeps her maneuverability. Cassian's able to pick, take that off. Even if uh, even if Leia is not up, he can take uh, you know he can, he can he can offer that extra stress clear. So from here there, where do you think Kalen's going to go? So Kalen's got a few options. This gas cloud's doing me a little bit of a favor right now because because of where Wedge is and the way that gas cloud is. If he wants to swing these guys around, it kind of forces him down this channel here. Right. Which effectively means that this A-wing can, un, uh, uncontested, come in and hit, try and hit this flank. And then these two can kind of come in here. Or, because of the rear arc, we could just see a disengage and a rotate to rear from this A-wing. I think the two turn left and, and rotate that arc is a very, very strong maneuver, or or even just a three turn. Yeah, right. I mean, he spent crack sugar on that A wing. Right. This bullseye is now irrelevant. Then there's no reason to come right into nope. wedge, right? Absolutely none. Nope. Now the other thing that the green expert can do right here is say, okay, well Vi is a target. Let's block. Yep. Right. Let's come in here and block. Let's take that focus. Let's get some shots on the U wing. Yeah. Now what Pierre can do right here is he's still threatening Griersonal with Jan Ors. That is a three die front arc. Grier still does not want to be right in there. So even just a, a one bank, 
right there. The arc stays wide. Greer will have a tough time skirting that. Yeah. I think this A-wing here is going to be interesting as well because... Right. Uh, so that's Zari. So what Zari can do is Zari can bump but still get action. So there's nothing wrong with dialing in like a three bank here and just coming in quick and fast. Uh, quick and fast, that's exactly the same Yeah, thing. quick and fast. <laughs> <laughs> Come in quick and fast. Quick uh, and fastly. Yeah. Um, and try and get some range one shots in there. Right, there's Cassian Andor's ability removing the stress from Jan. And there's the Bandit Squadron pile. Looks like a too hard turn yep. right around that bacon gas. Well, the amount of people here, there's quite a lot of bacon gas going around. <laughs> Especially with what the cafeteria is offering. Absolutely. Vimarati, one straight. Wants to keep the range. Will take right. focus. Here comes Cassian in, or where are we seeing? Just one bank. One. Again, conservative moves on both players. Right. Uh, now, what Pierre is also doing is he's expecting that resistance pod controlling the middle yep. so that wherever Finn comes in, sure, he might be coming in off this side, but he's not going to immediately be able to threaten a flank. Yep. And that's what Janors is doing right here. His most vulnerable pilot is Wedge. Janors is making sure that he cannot come in from this area. I think we're going to see either a one or a two bank right over there. I think it's probably just going to be a one bank, to be honest. Because what that does is that if the, the one or the two bank basically keeps Jan's arc looking down this way with the three dice attack to effectively threaten this A-Wing and this A-Wing here while keeping a side arc open to boost this guy, this guy, or this guy. Absolutely. Here comes that green expert. We're going to boost one forward. Focus, link that to boost. Does he make it? He does. Kalen telling his opponent that he is in. There we go. Focus linked roll. Boost. <laughs> Thank you. That's what that is. <laughs> and there's the three bank out with Zari Bangle yep. focusing and boosting, coming in to threaten Jan from the rear now. Now, why do you think he came around this way, Acer, as opposed to coming in here? Because this is dangerous. Leia pops. We have this guy staying in one place, rotating, or even rotating backwards right there. Uh, the, the, the middle is dangerous. The middle of the board is, is, is in fact, dangerous. I'm going to see a focus bank boost in. Yep, there we go. Going for Jan Orse right there. Support ships, good ideas to take out. We've got one, two, three guns having good shots on Jan if we do, in fact, see the one bank. But no, here's the two. A, it's a three bank. That's a three bank that's blocked by Greer. Absolutely. Actually, a very solid position for Jan to be in. Yep, yeah, I mean... Not Exactly, not taking that second shot. Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not terrible. It, right. It do, it do, but the thing is, she's got focus. She's still got her arc on this A-wing here. Right. And this A-wing, I don't think has arc on that Z95. Might have arc on the, uh, the U-wing. I think he's clipping the back of the Z95. But, I mean, the U-wing's a better target, but it's a bad shot through the bacon yeah. cloud. And wedge. If he's I just mean, moving forward, we'll see the block. He bumps here. No, it's a two bank. We're going to go right through Green Expert. Coming in for Vi. That's a lot of guns on target against that poor little pod. Yeah. I think Pierre has the upper hand in this round. I think so, too. Now, with Jan, do you think the Wedge throws four dice? Maybe five at range one. Do you think the Z95 throws three? I think it takes target lock here. I think so. Only taking a two-die shot back. Yeah. It's the perfect time to throw in some good fire. Well, he's only taking a two-die back, shot back if this thing's still here. That's true. <laughs> that is a big if here. Vimarati down in initiative one. Everybody except for that Z95 is going to be able to fire at it first. Now, are there any limitations on Jan's abilities? Huh? Are there any limitations on Jan's ability? Uh, just in arc. Just like those, those scum hawks. Just in your firing arc, primary attack. So, yeah, we see that Jan's ability isn't uh, limited like the 7th Fleet Gunner. Right. Very similar upgrade, but, but this one's better. <laughs> so what that effectively means is, if that is range 1... Radio TCX, is anyone flying Dengaroo? Shut your mouth. <laughs> Thank you, Dion, for banning them. There's a barrel roll from Wedge. He's going to get out of the arc of Vimarati. 
Will he focus length? I think he should focus length the barrel roll if he's going to do that. Uh, personally, I just take the target lock. Yeah, me too. I, uh, take a five dice shot. Yeah. Each one, it's one defense dice. That could be an alpha. All he has to do is get four. And worst case scenario, you've still got this guy to back you up, which is another yep. range one shot. And that's right, no link barrel roll on the T-65. That's T-70 that I'm thinking of right there. Thank you, chat. Flying Mighty correcting me. I appreciate that. And there we see the lock. There's the lock. Here we go. Wedge Antilles firing range one. Do we see Jan get the stress? I'm here in Pierre talking about stress. There it is, five dice. Big shots Could here. We see a one shot at pod. Not with that, we don't. Well, we still have the target lock. Here it comes. Here's Doggo. There's some paint. Yep. Hit, hit, and a crit. So there's at least two crits going through. And there it is. He spends the focus, takes a hit and a crit. So shield and the crit is? Crit's fuel a leak. fuel leak. Now remember, if VA or GA97 is destroyed before Finn comes in, Finn must deploy immediately, or at the start of the next round, I believe, with a weapons disabled, or is it immediately? I can't remember. Let me take that a look. Immediately, with a disarm, with a disarm token. Yeah. And there's blanks coming in from P Pierre. I think that was Jan, right? Yeah, that was Jan into the uh, pink A-wing. Not going to spend a focus on it. Greer Sonnel, does he have a shot? He does have no strength to Ewing. He does. But, but it is it's, it's obstructed. That's a poor shot. If there's a question here, they should call a judge, but that's in. Yep, absolutely. Spends optics for two. And there's two, three with the gas cloud. So now Cassian, range one into uh, Vimarati. Is it range one? That might be range one there. Oh, Saw a little two. bit of play, range two. Spend that focus. There it is. Got to try if we see no evades. There's one Vimarati with one haul. Is the bandit going to do it? Zari Bangel, range three into Janors. One hit, sp spends optics, gets two. And blanks oh, out Oh, on blanks on Jan. Both shields gone. Uh, pink, range two into Jan. Again, optics for two. And spends one of the focus. But there, we, but there we see, Acer, the, the, the power of these A-wings with right. optics. Absolutely. It, it, it's kind of gross <laughs> how consistent those two die shots are. And this is second edition. It's not first anymore. We Absolutely. do definitely have two die attacks doing a significant amount of damage. Absolutely. FFG, please nerf. Right. There we go. Yes, let's bring back auto thrusters. Two dice coming into Vimarati right there. One hit. Can the Z95 do it? All Kalen needs is one. No, oh. does not get it. Vimarati goes down. Now, Finn will deploy with a disarm token. Yep. But Vimarati will get to fire first. I think you take the range one into uh, Wedge here. Range one to Wedge. Here it comes. Three dice unmodified. There's one oh. hit. Wedge takes it. Yep, takes the one. Shield down. So we've got. So here we go. Here comes the big deal. Yep. Where is he coming? Huge it's cry out there from the crowd of it's the resistance. Yeah. <laughs> here he comes, but from where? He cannot come in along thi like this area right in here because Jan's there. Can he sit himself right there? And does he want to? Looks like we're coming in from this corner. 
Yeah, I've, I think what he wants to do is just try and chase Jan Ors. Yep. It's the resistance. Here he comes. There we go. As close to Jan Ors yep. as that range three ruler will allow. I guess that means there's the clear target. That is Kalen saying, this is what I'm going for. <laughs> Daniel Lopez, music intensifies, absolutely. And there he is now. He did technically have a disarm token, but they just didn't put it on. Yep. It's fine. Now, Pierre Buffier picking up an early lead, 35 to 0. But Kalen with, a, with great positioning right here. Absolutely. Of course, Finn positioned to come right up Kalen's backfield or right. Pierre's backfield. I mean... This doesn't have the best dial in the world, let's no. be honest. And Jan has a boost. Absolutely. Cassian, take that, take that away. We see Leia right here, I think, right? I think we see a Leia. I think we see a stop and a rotate here with this arc. I think we see a Talon roll with Wedge, and I think we see a K turn with the Z95. Does that Z95 have a 4K? I think it's just a 3. So if it's a 3K, that's going to be difficult. That's a 3 and a 4. So it does have the 4K. So I think we see the 4K here. Why don't you Over see? Wedge. Why don't you think we see the three? I think the 3K is going to be dangerously close to that corner of wedge. Ah, uh, you're absolutely right there. And I do not have balls like Marcel Manzano, so <laughs> I am not going to take that risk. Neither do I. <laughs> Kalen here has a lot of options as well. So Kalen here, if he's going to expect that Leia trigger, where can he go? So I, I think we are going to see the Talon roll here, and we're going to see the uh, the K turn and the stop and the rotate. Right. Now we're not going to see a K turn from uh, Janors, obviously. Right. <laughs> No K turn from Janoris, but we do have some red maneuvers on that dial, like the three turns. I, I, I don't see what that gets you. I mean, there Sorry. is also the stop. Here we go. There's Cassian Andor removing that stress. So that means we're at the start of the activation and phase. Layer of Organa. There it is. Leia's coming back. So here we see the 4K from the Z95. There's the 4K. I think I think it's going to turn out pretty much exactly as we predicted. Everything turning around to meet the resistance head on. Yeah, absolutely. You do the 4K. You take the um, you take the focus. Right. The the trick here for Pierre is going to ke be keeping Jan alive for as long as possible, and then bringing Wedge to bear on Finn. Yep. Because Finn, I mean, Finn's a, a very defensive little bugger, but it doesn't really matter if he only has one die. Yeah, absolutely. So just doing the, uh, the two bank there. Two bank, perceptive co-pilot, giving him two focus right there. Disgusting. He's got a focus and optics to modify that with. Here we go, there's the zero, turning around. But it's worth noting that now that the new uh, the new FAQ is in effect, Finn isn't anywhere near as disgusting as he once was. Oh God, no! Having to uh, keep that strain is much much more uh, uh, toned down. So there's the escape blocking from the Green Squadron expert, focusing and rotating the arc into the back, ensuring that if Jan Ors does take that escape maneuver, she will not be able to disengage completely. Three banking from Zeri Bengel. Player. 
Amaya on 123 says, I get a feeling that some Rebels will win Worlds. That's right. We do actually have two Rebel lists. One on this side of the table, one on this table, one on table two, I believe. So here we see a... He's going to try for the boost. No, nope, Not hit. quite. So he does still take the stress. Yep. But with the, as we said, with the amount of blue that's on that A wing, right? He doesn't care. Greer Sonnel taking a hard two to his left. He's going to definitely rotate. So we're going to do that properly instead of doing the side to side. He said, "Because we're on stream, I'm fine with it." Hey, it's down to the player's choice. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, if you want to do it properly with templates of your own, you can get them from Curled Paw Creatives. Type exclamation point CPC in chat to see where you can do that and use code WORLDS2019 for 15% off. So we see there a, uh, a free rotate from uh, Greer Sun uh, uh, Elks. That is his pilot ability. Yep. Free rotate focus. He is absolutely unstressed. Janos, the there's the three. Which is white. Now that this space is clear, yep. that's actually a great maneuver. We're able to rotate that arc backwards if he wants, but it still points to the side. And gets Jan some distance. Right. Now, Jan is free to spend those focus tokens because of uh, the death of uh, right. Vi. There it is. Thank you, Grumpy Grandpa, for exclamation point CPC. Yeah. And that's Curl Paw Creatives right there in the chat. I think Jan, he's uh, he, he is contemplating whether or not to rotate that arc or just take another focus. Maybe boost. Can the, he clear a boost? The right? No, I can't clear that boost. He just has to stay alive, yeah, and there's the other focus. focus. Now, he is going to get shot by. He is going to get shot by these three A wings. Looks like he might just have arc with the uh, the orange A wing there. And just a K turn from Wedge, not okay. the Talon roll. I don't hate that. Right. It does give him once again this slot to come back in, rather than being rather than being forced to try to come around this other side. And did he close his wings there? That does kind of look like a close. That foreshadows to me maybe he's going to boost. I think that's a very solid opportunity. He needs to get back into the fight as soon as he can. Absolutely. And throwing two dice is better than throwing no dice. There we go. Focus. Link that to a boost with the closed S foils. Janoris, of course, can boost that attack back up to three dice. Absolutely. Deciding whether or not he wants to do that. Yeah, I think it's important to look at what the options are for next next turn. But that stress doesn't matter because you know, Cassie and Andor. Right. So he's actually going to bank boost. Okay. That is an interesting direction to go in. It 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 it, it threatens this lane, but uh, this gas cloud is going to make it difficult for him to be flexible in the next coming turns. Mm. Uh, I'm not sure that he gains the range onto Zary. Although there we go, he's got it. He's got the range. Is Jan going to boost it back? I would expect to see a stress here from Jan. I think so too. It might be the last turn that Jan's on the board. Might as well grab that one last die while you can. I think we're still going to see Jan at the end of this. Do it while you can, Jan. We do also have, it's worth noting, a bullseye maybe on Cassian with a crack shot. Not an upgrade you see often on the U-Wing. Right, on, nor on many medium-based ships. Deciding whether or not to boost it. I think you do. I, I don't see the harm. Me too. I, I, I hear some dice rolling. <laughs> hear some dice being rolled around in the hand. Not exactly sure. Uh, looks like he's just going in with two. One just hit. one comes in. Clean. Just a one evade. So for one evade, Wedge does have crack shot. Does he strip that focus? Dump the crack shot. Zeri's going to take one. I think that's the right call there. Right. You're only going to take one. It's not. It's not. It's not a crit. All 
All right, Jan Norris measuring range there to Zari Bengel. So, Jan, range two, into. Oh, let's see, one blank, reeled out of the table, one hit coming in. There's one evade. Zari is clear. Getting just the right amount. So we've got Greer, range two, Jan Norris. Spence focus for one. And that's Galen's downfall, not using the optics that he paid for. <laughs> well, he, he couldn't use it. Yeah, well. <laughs> one evade. Jan is fine. That's the plan, Jan. Initiative three, Pierre taking the initiative in this one, being first player. Cassian Andor will fire first. Are we going to boost that shot? Potentially. That, it is range two. He does have bullseye. I think he's picked up four dice. That looks like four. There goes there the go. stress. We could see it there. It's entirely possible here, depending on how much paint Bier rolls. Warming up those dice. Here it comes. There's three paint. Spend that focus. Yeah. So we know at least one's getting through if crack shot triggers. Yep. Three dice from the A-wing. Kalen hope for a lot of paint. Got to spend two. There's the crack shot. Two so that more. So on one. Half points on Zeri Bangel. Pierre now picking up a 56-0 lead with 33 minutes left in this game. Now both sides are now out of crack shot. Range two back at him. There's two that hits. two hits. Who needs mods? Jan's looking for paint. There's one. Spend one of her focus. You kind of have to. Right. Two hit points left. Now, Kalen picks up half points on Jan. Now, 56 to 31. Range one to Jan Horse with a rear shot of pink. And a focus. Optics for three. So See a dead Jan unless he rolls paints. paint. He needs to get Jan off the board. It is. There's there only go. one. Two hits coming into Jan, and Jan is dead. That gives uh, Kalen the lead there. With right, swinging points. back six points up. Finn now with no shots. Initiative one, bandit squadron pilot. Range three obstructed into the A-wing. Not obstruct is what they call that. Did see a little bump there. But the players seem all right with that. They're calling it unobstructed. Two, two hits. hits. It's always that Z95. No, two evades right there. <laughs> A-Wing's just fine. And back to dials, 31 minutes left, 61 points to 56 in favor of Kalen Wong as we move into the next round. Uh, ahead by five points, Asa. Ahead by five points, indeed. Pierre Bouffier, though, not in a terrible position. All of his ships now pointed towards the A-Wings, although I do think that they're going to see a big old disengage. Yeah, I mean, this A-Wing here is going to do a hard two this way. Right. And a boost round, probably with a focus. This A-Wing here. out. This A-Wing, probably a three bank. Uh, I think it's the other way. I think we're going to see the two turn out that way. Okay. Focus, rotate. Well, no, because she, she, she moves first. Never mind. We can't do that. Focus. She moves first, so maybe the three bank, three bank blue. Focus, rotate. Greer Sonnel moving around and Finn moving in as fast as he can. So, do we see another stop by this U-wing and just point down this way, Asa? You know that's close. Um, I, I I think we ha I think the U wing's actually going to move down this lane okay. uh, because what that does is it puts pressure on Zari to move out. It puts pressure on Finn as he tries to get guns down that out down that lane, and it also allows Wedge to move in behind, either taking the banks out this way, down past that bacon, down yep. past that bacon gas, uh, into the other lane that he just came from, or just follow Cassian Andor because we know it's, this is going to take a couple turns to get around. Yep. Uh, won't have a great shot on it right now. I think we're going to see a conservative, just a little one bank here from. Watch. I think so too. Thirty minutes left in the round. Pierre Bouffier down by six points. 
Well, five points down, needs six to lead. Yep. So he's behind, but not out. Absolutely. I mean, that's the thing we've seen with all of these games. Behind but not out is the theme of Worlds this year. Every single one of the games that we have casted this week has been close, right down to the wire. Yep. And I think that that tells me that X-Wings is in a good position. I, I right? think the, the game's in a great a place. place. We see a lot of we see a lot of players just making those decisions to keep themselves back in, and we see the just the caliber of play making the difference between the loss and the win. Yeah, and and a lot of it comes down to matchup, but a lot of it comes down to player skill as well. Right. Both of these players extremely skilled here in the top 16. One of these players will advance to the will advance to the top eight. That's where we're at. Top eight is when we're going to lose our three tables. Yep. So down to two. Down to two. Oh, dear. Whatever will we do? <laughs> <laughs> and those folks at home are going to be able to uh, shut down one of their monitors. Right. And, uh, focus on two. <laughs> There's the four forward from the Z95, putting a big pressure on that downside of the board. Finn now coming in one straight. Doesn't want to get too close, so he doesn't get blasted by Wedge. Just take the focus. Now, the other thing that we can see there from the uh, from the U-Wing is a coordinate onto Wedge. Go ahead and give him a target lock focus when he comes back into the fight. Yep. Indeed, there's a two straight forward skirting that bacon cloud. Does it clip? No, it shouldn't. Clear. He came right up that area, right up that alley before. So the pivot wings do flip. So so Kalen is, is is granting him the flip on the wings, knows the intent. Yeah. <laughs> but saying that's your one time, and this is worlds. Every right to call that out. Yeah. Good sportsmanship right there. And there indeed is the two turn out. Yeah, I think uh, I think we're gonna see maybe a, uh, a boost rotate. I think we see either a boost rotate, maybe a target lock. This is just a barrel just roll. A barrel. I think that's that's actually a great uh, that's actually a great maneuver. We see roll rotate facing back forward next round to two turn. Zari Bengal, five four. We're not the three bank as I anticipated. Still disengage. Absolutely. Accomplishes the exact same thing. Gets the distance. I think we'll see a uh, focus rotate. Right. Maybe the focus boost. That's what he's thinking about now. Guess it all comes down to where the wedge is going to be. Definitely the focus. There's there the go. rotate. Greer doing a two bank right there. Let's go ahead and mark Finn, do that properly. There it is, there's the mark. Pierre picking up the two bank to help out Kalen. Fierce competition here, but excellent sportsmanship. Absolutely, Asa, that's what this game's all about. Exactly. That's why I play X-Wing, great people. Even me. Even you, Darren. Thanks again for joining me here on this commentary table. Not a problem, and a big shout out to all the people back home in the UK and Europe. I right. know it's getting, uh, what, 10, 11 o'clock there in uh, UK and Europe. Uh, <laughs> so thanks for staying up. <laughs> All right, Wedge opening the S foils one more time. Where's he going there? He's following Cassian. Three straight forward. So Wedge is going to have a solid shot right now. He's going to take the focus. So I think we're going to see a lot of fire going into uh, Finn right, right. now. Finn's the most, con well, one of the most consistent guns on here, but he hits harder than anything else. All right, here comes shots. Wedge Antilles, range three into Finn. And it's clear. So Wedge with only a three dice shot here. Only a three dice. Still Wedge Antilles. Absolutely, after the death of Jan Ors. Now Pierre's looking for three paint here, always rolling some blanks, and there it is again. Even One Kaden, focus, yeah, two Kaden blanks. Commentating there that, uh, I that don't believe that, yeah, Pierre doesn't spend that focus yeah. right there. It, no damage is going through, and you want it for defense. Yeah, the, 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 the red dice haven't been kind to Pierre there. Right. 
Greer Sonnell now coming down. We have a range three against the Z. One crit. Looking now to see if this is this is obscured. Yep. There's there the go. optics. Takes the hit. Crit. Oh, Pierre taking the if hit only that crit into the shield. I know, right? That is the heroic bandit. Some blank, blank greens. So Cassian, do we go into Finn here, or do we go into this A wing? It's I think Cass one. It, it, it is. Um, it is absolutely a tough call. I mean, it's, it's going to be really tough to get hits into both of them, but Greer does not have mods and is unobstructed. So I think that's the shot. But the thing is, if you shoot Finn, he just adds the eyeball result. Right. And then he, he, he guarantees that you get an extra one. Yeah. It's, it's, it's basically rock and a hard place. Right. That's why he's got to go for Greer right here. Going for Greer. Range three from Cassian Andor. Here come the dice. Maybe Pierre's just warming them up too much. There's a hit, hit, or focus two crits. He's spend that. Focus. Four greens from Greer. There's oh. the blanks that he wants. Taking a crit onto crit, the hull. Crit, crit. This. Watch this crit. Direct, Direct hit Greer Sonnel going <laughs> down. That is a one shot today, ladies and gentlemen. Holy cow. One shot it from downfield. What a shot. What a shot, Pierre. <laughs> Picking up a lead now, 97 to 73. Range two into the Z95 from Zari Bengel. One crit. One crit. Does he spend Can it? he spend optics? He's spending it. He chooses violence. If the Z95 can't shoot back, he can't plink one away. And that's there he's, the, he's, he's got to, to focus. To now, can we see another direct? Yep, it's a direct. <laughs> it's a direct hit. <laughs> Holy cow! Two direct hits in a row. Can we get some crits in the chat, please? <laughs> Can we get all of the crits in the chat, please? <laughs> direct hit, Greer. Direct hit, <laughs> Z95. And that is the problem with the uh, two shield, two whole ships. <laughs> Holy cow! There's a shot onto Wedge, coming in two. So he strains himself to add that. He adds the focus optics. That's the thing about Finn right that there. Is Three hits. Look at that, Whoa. three evades Wedge Antilles. Now can we get right some back. evades in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> the dice in this game are unreal. 22 <laughs> minutes left. <laughs> Even with 21 minutes left, Pierre still with a slight lead, 97 to 84 over Kalen Wong. None of, the other, none of these other ships down to half points, but the next change swings it. Yeah, uh, I think uh, Kalen's got to focus all of his efforts here right now. Right. And Pierre in turn, everything right there. Finn's not getting out of these arcs, so he's just got to bring them in. Now, can we bring up the dial just so I can have a quick look at it? Just Absolutely. Just so I want to see blue on that dial. Now, real quick, I want to see. I uh, still have one charge left on Leia. What's blue on the Finn's pod. dial? Yeah. Yep, on the pod, we've got a one bank, two straights. So not great. That one I mean, bank, though, the, is the, the move. One, the one bank doesn't get him round enough. If he had a two bank that was blue, it might be better because you can cause you can force because that the could be a block. But this this is a problem. This A wing is now going to have to do a hard two in. This one's got to try and keep its arc and stay relevant. Right. That was a huge blow for Caden losing that ship there. <laughs> I know. Like that one shot at Greer Sonnel. I mean, he, he so so he chose violence. Cassian chose murder. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, crits on A-wings always go one right. of two ways. It's either a hole breach and a, or slash fuel leak, right. which are irrelevant. Or it's or a direct it's hit. It's a direct hit. Right. That's it. It's, it's one or the other. Nothing else. I've never seen an A-wing pull anything other <laughs> than one of those three. <laughs> Same thing with that Z95. I, that's incredible. We see the Z95 also drawing the direct hit. Very lucky for Kalen, though, because if that Z95 had not, we have a one-hull Zari Bangel. Twenty minutes left. Yeah, and and I think uh, for Pierre here, 
Pierre's going to go hunting this. I think that's that's just more points that are easy to get. So does he? I mean, does he hunt that or, or Finn? Like, Finn's Finn's in the way is the problem. Finn is in the way. I mean, <laughs> if anything is to go by, you, you just need Cassian. Right. Like, like, take the last turn, for example. Well, that, that, like, that's what I think in this in this turn, right? You, you go for Finn yeah. because Zeri is not a great target. Yeah. At the end of it's the day, it's hard to turn in. They've got nearly 20 minutes left right. in the game. Like, it, they're not pressed for time here. This isn't a, mm-hmm. a last turn dash for points just to, to, exactly. to rebalance it. This is a... Pierre can afford to be methodical here. Exactly. Two turn... Point. The turn after turn after this one too. Leia's going to be back. We can go ahead and turn around with yep, both of those ships. Around. If Finn overshoots, go for Zari one more time. I think we just see a, a one bank here from Cassian. One bank, take the focus. One bank from Cassian. One bank from Wedge. He's covered by this gas cloud. Yep. Now, if only Cassian had tactical jammer right here for that Finn return shot. Finn can't return fire if he's not there. That's true. <laughs> but yeah, I mean. The true power there with Finn, just showing uh, what what you can do when you've got heroic advanced optics and perceptive co-pilot right. with Finn's ability. He rolled two eyeballs on a blank. Yeah, and All he got three hits. Three. Well, in fact, no, sorry. He rolled an eyeball on a blank. And that's three, and that's three, hits. three hits. Yeah, it's absolutely disgusting. FFG, please nerf. Please, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so there's the one bank from Finn. There's the one bank. I think that does actually block. I think you're right. So, so we've got we to see, see, a see a stop from here. A two bank to skirt. Maybe a barrel roll is able to get out of the arc. I mean, if, if Pierre or he just it. takes the one. No, that's a that's, that's a, a maneuver. That's a, that's a bank. That's a block. He didn't. He hadn't seen it. He, I think he just assumed like we did that the, the one bank might not block. Right. Now, if Wedge blocks against it as well, that could be very very bad with no focus yep. token. I mean, if if Wedge goes into the back here and he's he's as I say. Uh, no, tokenless. It, it uh, wouldn't be unexpected for uh, for Finn to uh, pop him, right? I mean, he's got he's got four hole. Well, he'll probably do. He'll probably he'll do three damage. He won't pop him. He'll do three. Mm. <laughs> It'll get down to one hull. All the direct hits. He, yeah, he could get one crit in there. <laughs> we'll see all the direct hits coming out of the damage deck right now. I mean, he could statistically get two direct hits. He could. If he rolls two crits naturally, three because it'd be range one. Then adds the uh, adds the uh, the eyeball. Zari Bengal just focusing there. So, what has Wedge done? Comes Wedge. That looks like it's a lengthy maneuver. That's a four straight. Uh, I think that bumps. I think that bumps. Yep. Now I'm trying to think to myself what Pierre was trying to accomplish with that. It wasn't a red maneuver. Right, but even with the even with a four straight, even the the one bank from that Ewing clearing, does the four straight clear too? Maybe he's just tired of going in with single model attacks. He wants to disengage, grab right. the rock, come back around. Here comes the range one. So wedge range one into Finn. Hoping for some good dice for Pierre here. Let's see what we got. There's three There's hits. Three. So Finn's only rolling one. But he's going to get two evades. There it is. We add one focus. So you, you take he the strain. strain. You it. Two evades. Only takes one. I think that's what he's got to do. Here comes yeah. the strain token out. He's given up half points either way. Right. Debating now what, what he's going to do. Well, he's not given up half points on Finn. Takes the strain. He's just taking the, the strange. Eyeball, spends the focus. Takes one. No, you're right. He doesn't give up half right. points. Right. Finn is, Finn is so consistent. Yep. There's three there. No shot nope. from the green expert. Sorry, Bangel though has a range three out the rear. Cassian. They have one, two after two. the spending focus. Cassian taking everything. Two more. Shields now down on Cassian and or Finn. Kind of a big deal. This shot's kind of a big one. Range one optics for so, three. Yep. Let's see what Wedge can do in return. 
Nothing. Nothing. Wedge Antilles giving up half points. And that takes Kalem back into the lead. Right now, Pierre is down by 15 points, 97 to 112. Kalen Wong in a commanding position. There's one slight problem, though. Layer is back up. Layer right. is fully operational. He wants to clear his strain. There's nowhere he can go. He physically cannot move to clear his strain. So can't you just bump with the blue maneuver, or do you have to No, you, clear? you can bump, right. but then he's not using any of this stuff that he's got here. Right. So Finn it will be really vulnerable, especially when you consider Wedge can just do the talent roll in behind him. I think he can. I, I'm not sure if the talent roll will clear. I think K-turn. Okay. I mean, I would, I would love to see that clear the rock or clear the gas cloud, right? But, yeah. But, hey, I, I don't think there's any other option other than a K-turn here from Wedge. Right. I think we do see Leia. Finn has to move first. If he does clear Cassian, Cassian just rotates. Yep. And then I think we want to coordinate Wedge, right? Yeah, absolutely. Now, the important interaction to understand here is if he bumps and then Cassian does the stop and doesn't move, they're technically not touching. Is that true? Is that absolutely. the case? Holy cow. That Finn's in a bad position right there. Absolutely, because not only would they not, would only not, they not be touching, Cassian can take an action. So I think... Finn has to here just do a straight move. Just do right. a three straight. Has to get out. But even a three straight, does it clear that? And he's still going to be strained. So if Wedge does K-turn, that's no defense dice for Finn. Right. It's tough. This is, this is Pierre's chance, really. He's got to put down Finn. Absolutely. <laughs> Ryan Farmer looming behind me with a microphone. Something that looks like a taser. Yes. <laughs> 13 minutes left in this round. Zari Bengel here. We're going to see a turn in. Ryan Farmer, ladies and gentlemen, paying close attention to the stream here. Because it's right. familiar to his heart, so he's looking for some tips. Yeah, he, he, he would not be... He, he's obviously not looking at the table itself. I mean, you where could you can say, accurately judge distances and... You could say he's trying to learn ways to fly better. Oh, look at that. Ouch. <laughs> the can we have a Ryan nurse Farmer. here for that burn? <laughs> 12 minutes left, methodically setting down dials right now. Pierre, I think, deciding what he wants to do with Wedge, deciding if the K-turn is worth it. I think it is. Yeah, they've got the time to think about this. Once again, this is a game that's swinging back and forth and back and forth. We have leads from each player. Carrying them forward for as long as they can. So Leia should be back up now. We don't see that charge recharged. What's that? That's crack shot. Uh, that's right, that's crack shot. So it is fine, Pierre considering. It is a risky maneuver, but Zari is going to have it, find it tough to bring her gun to bear right now. So will the Green Squadron Expert, at least on Wedge. I think that Green Squadron Expert has got to do a three bank in and boost and punish Cassian. Is one point away from half? That's what Pierre is considering. If something like that is worth it or if he just tries, tries to chase Zari down. Yep. It's a big decision. I mean, you've got 21 points there, but you've got 41 there. Sorry, 42. So, guy getting Finn to half or killing Zari, then we get the same number of points. Yep. He gets slightly more if he kills, if he gets Finn to half, but mm -hmm. it's a point. Right, are we going to see I Leia mean, we, right here? We've never seen any games go down to just a single point, have we? Absolutely. Certainly not today. <laughs> There's Leia. Here we go. Kalen has to have seen that. Yeah. So where's Finn going? One, One forward, forward bumping. So if we see a stop. Technically. Technically is not touching. They shouldn't be touching. He's done a hard two with Cassian. 
That's an interesting maneuver. He's going to chase down Zari. Mm. Abandoning Finn, this is an interesting choice. Now he could be uh, co uh, thinking he wants to coordinate a, uh, an action to wedge here. You should just do that with stop. You could, but it also gives him an ability to uh, try and throw some uh, shots downrange to uh, take out Zari. So I don't think Zari is going to be in range at all. I, I would agree, but I... I There's the coordinate, though. Is he going to coordinate the roll? Yeah. So this is a coordinate K turn. So he needed he needed that space clear to roll away. Yeah. So what he does here is he coordinates, gets uh, to, for the roll, does the K turn here, and then takes either a lock or a focus. <laughs> Pierce has got to take a lock this time. <laughs> and who's he focus? And it's going to be all focuses though. Here comes the green expert. Banking in hard, linking to a focus. So that's why we're not going to throw any dice down range. No, barreling away. And Zari's just going to run. Cassian Andor, it's worth saying, cannot remove the stress from himself. Nope. Nope. Range one to three is his ability. Yeah, if he was range zero to three, he'd be broken. Oh, absolutely. Holy cow. There's Wedge. There's the K turn on the dial. Yeah. Which this turn is obviously white. There's that 4K turn, wedge right in there. So what action will he take, focus or target lock? See, will I think he you focus. I, th I mean, I think you'd, I because think that's the right, that's the right choice. You've got the shot in here from this uh, uh, A-wing here. Uh, and that's the real trouble here. Because right. if he kills Finn, he gets 42 points, but he's then gonna give up Another 20. I mean, if, if, if Kalen gets wedge, he wins the game. Cassian's not maneuverable enough to catch the A wings. Yeah. All right, here come the dice. Range one from wedge into Finn. Pierre is really hoping for a big hit. All four paint is what he needs. So here we go. I see two. There's three. So I think he, he has, he's got to spend it. I think he's got to spend it. I think he has to take the chance. I think you spend it. There yep. it is. Choosing so. violence. Good job, Wedge. There's the focus. Yep. He can add one. He can strain himself to add a focus. It's yep. not enough. <laughs> Finn going down. Loose stabilizers the crit. So not Finn mattering. Is off the board. Now, I think it all comes down to this dice roll. If this A-Wing can right. take out Wedge. Pierre lamenting that the uh, A-Wing is too far away. Here's the range three. We know that he's going to hit two, unless he rolls two blanks. Oh, or that. The worst. <laughs> There's one. This could be it, though. Wedge until he's oh, one evade. It's the evade he needs. Crack shot's already spent. I think we're going to see Rebels in the next round. Whew. I mean, it's not over. It absolutely is not. But I think it's over. I mean, Pierre does have the lead there. He has the uh, he has a 27 point lead, 139 to 112. Cassian Andor, though, if he takes half on Cassian, he's up by two points. Yeah. So that's another win condition for Pierre, or excuse me, for Kalen. Now Pierre Buffer, all he has to do kill that. We've got one hit point remaining, which is why I think Kalen's whoop is yeah. gone. Yeah, absolutely. I, I I think Zari just has to run here. Just has right. to absolutely run. This ship. Can't stop and rotate. So right. It's going to have to start moving down this way. I think the call is. Let me clear the overlay. I think the call is one bank, coordinate wedge. Given the target lock, the wedge can move. Or excuse me, given the focus. Yep. Wedge can move. No, I'll give him the target lock. Give him the target lock. That way, if, 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 he, if uh, expert comes in here and 
and, and blocks. I, I think the expert goes this way. I think the expert does the three bank, rotates to rear and focuses. So Wedge just with a one straight then? Uh, and hopefully tries to catch Wedge out. Right. I mean, well, you could always do the five straight. Right. Five straight focus, rotate. If Wedge bumps you, you know you can take a shot here and hopefully get half points. If Wedge doesn't bump you, you take the shot at Wedge. Right. I think that's the call. That is a good call, Darren. But maybe, maybe, maybe you should fly A wings instead. Uh, I did win a hyperspace once with A wings. Hey, there you go. I took them out of the box the night before. They are very pointy. <laughs> um, however, if Pierre's seen that, a one forward here, coordinate a target lock to wedge, and wedge just K turns again. Yeah. I, I think a K turn's a really strong play, actually. Yeah. Just be honest. He's not going to catch. He's not going to catch. Zoe. No, no, no. Never ever. Because you gotta, I mean, you gotta assume that that uh, it, it's a, it's a risky play. But you gotta gotta think about that. So uh, one forwards. There it no, is. One bank. one bank. We might still have the coordinate range on wedge. So three and a half minutes left. Just to focus. Just to focus. Absolutely there right there. There's the five straight. Five straight. Focus. Rotate. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and play yeah. Because what that Great does is call. that potentially gets half points on this ship here. It won't. It won't put him into a winning place. But yes, it will. It will. Half. Po I mean, half points on half points on Cash and Ender is 29 points. It does. He needs 28 to lead. <laughs> It'll put him ahead by two. There's that five straight boost focus. Yeah, it, Pierre's, Pierre Pierre's saying, this. you are great. <laughs> no, he said run away. Yeah. <laughs> one bank. Here's your one bank yeah, bumped wedge. Yeah, I hadn't seen it. If he had, it was a beautiful call, but we would have seen the coordinate. Yes. Will that clear? Oh, goodness. Was that, that going to clear? It could be a range one shot into wedge. Well, wedge will barrel roll. Because Wedge, yeah, there it is. Wedge can't take the shot. So Finn clearly failed. Can this A-Wing <laughs> be the hero of the resistance? <laughs> <laughs> he's not the hero we've deserved, but he's the hero we've got. All right, there's number pink taking the optics. Yep. Two hits into the back of the uh, back of the U-Wing. Yeah, he's two paint. There, Needs it. there it is. Two evades. No damage. Which means this A-Wing has to stay in the fight. Right. Either that A-Wing stays in, Zari comes back, or both. And I think the I think the shuttle right now just damn the torpedoes through there. Has to keep the pressure on Zari, keeping her running away. Yep. Wedge follows suit. Oh, close those S-foils and boost back around. I, I mean, I think what we're going to have to see now from Kalen is the hard two and the boost. Uh, and, and hope. Evades One in the minute. chat. Yeah. <laughs> One minute thirty left in the chat left in the round. This could be it. This could be it. Pierre Buffier might be coming ahead of Kalen Wong, but it's still down to whether or not he can half points on Cassian Andor, and that's all he needs. I do not think that Pink Escort can get the gun back around if that Ewing moves quickly. So I think uh, Pink just does the two forwards. Just does the two forwards focuses and hope that he's got range three to this ship or this ship? Actually, I think the best play, don't don't go up. Like Pierre, he's just got, he's ahead on points. If this is the last round, we just two turn. Yep. Two turn, four straight. But we know that, Asa, do We they? do, exactly. That's one thing that uh, that Sarah Tessum actually mentioned in her round when yep. she was up by one point. Yep, she absolutely didn't realize she was up by one point. Mm -hmm. So quickly got to the planning phase and then yep. they worked out the points. That's why I'm going to take a quick tangent. That's why the rule that you can't take notes, can't calculate is absolute garbage. Because that's, that's open information. It's information that all the players should have. I'm hyper aware of the points when I'm casting. Absolutely. And that's that's really helping. Like it helps the players make informed decisions. So this is it. This is the last round. Let's see what happens. That was 
This is the last round. Pierre Bouffier still up. Dials are down. That's time in the round. He's doing a four forwards. Four forwards. He is catching. Now, if he takes damage from if this, he that takes is half crit. points. We saw it in the last game. And no! he takes it. Oh, no. Cassian Andor giving half oh, points up, oh. taking a risk and giving it up. The the, oh, oh, no. Can we get some crits in can chat, please? Can we get please? crits in chat? Oh. That is time in the round. Day two. Oh, I wonder if Pierre knew he was ahead there. We we saw it. We saw it in the last round. Right. Like the, the last game, we saw it happen to Annie. Right. Happen again. The one in eight chance. The <laughs> this this debris when, is ruthless. Eight, yeah. So he's turning. He's turning Ka in. Kaylin doing the right place, but he knows he's ahead. Kaylin now knows what he. And what he's, he's done he's the got. four fours with wedge. Right. That is. That, that is, is game. game. That is game. Pierre Buffet, I, 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 if that that two turn clears there. Yeah. Now, do we see the end of Wedge? We've still got a shot. <laughs> and they're calling it. They're calling that. That is unfortunate. A I, two I point really wonder win. if Pierre knew he was ahead right there. If he was going for the Hail Mary or if he essentially just wasted a lead. Yeah, no, he knew. He knew that's, he was ahead. That's what, that's what they're talking about now. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. It, it, yeah. All right, Darren. Well, I mean, it's still a fantastic game. Yeah, absolutely. Kalen Wong, 141 to 139. That's just a two-point lead separated by such a slim margin right here. Interesting to see is if Pierre was to fill that two points in his list... We might, we might see a final salvo right now. But no, it is not. Kalen Wong, 141 to 139, is the winner of the top 16. Moving on to the top eight, we'll be back in just a few minutes with that next round as soon as FFG gives us the pairings for the Gold Squadron Production Network, GSPN. I'm Asa. And I'm Darren. We'll be right back.